just uh, put the water to show you how the kit gut uh, is going to change so you can see it absorbs water and it really look nice if you don't know what a kit gut is it's some intestines of usually sheep or pig and uh, this is coming from trout line and color natural size S. So let's go for fly. This this one is on hook uh, 12. I'm going for a bit smaller for size 14 now. So my hook is a dry dry fly hook. TMCO 100 SPBL and thread is Unitread Olive 80. So tie the thread. It's very important and I forget this to wet the cat guard before you're going to use it because it is uh, hard uh, when it's dry so you need to put this in the water in some cup of water or bowl with a, a bit of water for this size fly you're going to need probably like I don't know five six centimeters maybe and wet only the, the segment you're going to use so I cut this and put it in the water it will soften and it will be easy to work with uh, now we're going to because I, I saw some midges have a have a really sharp rock in color or bright green uh, this, it, it is a color of their hemolymph and uh, it will a, a lot of this green will disappear by this uh, freshly emerged uh, midges are really really sharp chalk color so hot green unifloss a piece of this and again I will probably split it I don't need that much so just use a half something like this just a thin thin one tie this in for kit guard we have to wait like three minutes maybe um, I hope it will be it will be fine now already. I forget we we first can tie in or should first tie in the the CDC wing, so cover the hook shank. And this is size fourteen. I will go for like four pieces. Of CDC in natural color for still water useless for for some river for some stream use more uh, of uh, CDC feather so match tips of these feathers and uh, tie them in Something like this. Put it here and tie in strong thread wraps. You can go all the way to the hook eye, and I again I will rise it with a few here, few thread wraps. Now cut uh, this rests in a kind of conic shape so the body will be as well conic don't cut it in one uh, in one uh, 
one point and cover this okay the kit guy will be ready is ready it's so nice nicely soft here and absorb some water so tie this in go all, all, all the way front with your with your thread and now the body is basically made of the tiny thread and I will do I will make a few wraps of this of this green like this Okay, and we're going to start wrapping the kit gut nicely one uh, next to the previous one. I will take my hacker plier for this. So cover the whole body. I'm almost short here, but or not almost I'm short here. Well, it's fine. And uh, so maybe use better more like uh, seven centimeters for for size fourteen. Trim the rest. Secure it well and we're going to we finish fly and we and we and we done. Again, a drop of varnish here. So, this is my version of Green Mage. Just cut, cut the thread, and we finished. So green mage, get got green mage. Uh, here it's almost uh, it almost dried the, the body, but uh, still you can see this nice, nice. Uh, smooth body very 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 nice material for tiny names and also some kind of these uh, subsurface flies so that's all thank you for watching and bye